look at that it just it's just doing what it needs to do <laughs> All right, you guys, so welcome back to my channel. I do have a very exciting video today because I have been watching, um, you know, reels on Instagram, of course, and I will go ahead and put the name of Rose on Instagram. And she talks about how, you know, puffs are better than sponges. So you guys know if you watch my videos, I use sponges for everything, which I will go ahead and show you guys the one I have. Um, this one is actually for my brand, so of course I love it. But she does say when it comes to puffs, it makes your under eyes a lot more smoother, blurred, all of that when it comes to applying your powders. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, because her makeup always looks really, really good. So of course I want to go ahead and try it out on camera, show you guys up close if it does make a difference, which one looks more blurred than the other, all of that on today's video. So. I'm super excited, of course. So if you're interested, make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and let's jump right into the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering where I got this cute puff. Y'all, it is so adorable. So I got a mixture of pink and black on Amazon. I will go ahead and put the exact link down below. And I will say it's super affordable and it feels so soft and nice and plush. I know a lot of puffs when you go to Sephora are like $20. $30, but this was nothing like that. Um, you do get a whole pack for a very affordable price and it feels so good, you guys. Really, really good. So on the other end, I do have my sponge, of course, which I really love. You guys know I use this for every single thing out there when it comes to my face, for concealer, foundation, under eye powder, bacon, literally everything I use my sponge for. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and put this to the test. I am really excited. And of course, I already do have foundation on my face today. Um, and that's pretty much it and eye makeup, of course. So yeah, let me go ahead and kind of soak off all the water that I have in my sponge before we do start because I do want to apply some concealer and then do the other eyes and we'll just kind of go from there. So what I'm going to do first is apply some concealer underneath my eyes and I'm using my Pat McGrath Labs Concealer in the shade MD22. And we're just going to apply this all over. And then I'm gonna take my sponge just to blend everything. I'm not sure if you can use a puff to blend your concealer, but I'm just gonna stick with my sponge with this one and just blend everything into the skin. And I know some people use brushes. I actually do use brushes when I'm in a rush, but I just prefer how the sponges just blend the under eye. It just always looks flawless to me. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see what the under eyes look like. So what we're going to do now is apply some powder to the under eyes, of course. I'm going to use my sponge for this side and then the puff for this side. Okay, so keep it pretty simple. So what I'm going to do first is apply some of my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Kanafa underneath this eyes using my sponge. And you always want to make sure that you blend out the creases okay because girl i haven't been sleeping so i'm first gonna blow some powder off and just press that underneath the eyes looking up just to make sure i get some powder in the creases to set everything okay so this is what the side looks like blended out and I really make sure that I blow the excess powder off because I don't want it to look cakey, okay? So this is what the under eyes look like as soon as I press some powder in there. I'm gonna do it one more time. And just really press everything in. So you guys can see what this under eye looks like. It's pretty smooth, pretty flawless, you guys. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell at the moment what the difference would be between both sides, but 
this is what it always looks like when I do set with some under eye powder. And I will say my under eyes have been super dry as of lately, so it may look a little bit cakey right about here. But besides that, I mean, it looks good so far. So what I'm going to do is blend out this under eye first and get rid of the creases. And I'm not using the side that I apply some powder on because that would just make it dry. I'm using the bottom part and just really blend out everything first. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is take some powder on the puff. And I actually never used one of these before, so I hope I'm doing it right. But I'm just gonna take this powder and just press it underneath like so. Ooh. Okay. And right away, I will say it gives a little bit more coverage than your sponge. I feel like the sponge really does soak up a lot of the powder. But with this one, it's taking a little bit of time to blend in because it does keep the powder on the puff itself and not soak it up like the sponge does. So that's just one time. I'm gonna go in a second time, blow some powder off, and then just tap underneath like so. You guys can see what I mean. It's almost like you're baking your under eyes when it comes to the puff because it holds so much powder. So I'm just gonna keep tapping this in. So I'm gonna bring you guys even closer because I just want you guys to see what I'm seeing. So with me, I don't know. I'm just looking at both sides right now. I kind of prefer the sponge side, okay? I know with this, it's supposed to be a little bit softer, give you a little bit more coverage, but I just love how this looks a little bit more than this side, just because this does hold a lot of powder. So I feel like it's giving me like that powder look, if that makes sense. But this side just looks very soft, blended in, a little bit more blurred as well, but that's just, you know, my first impressions. So I'm gonna take some more powder using the puff and just apply some powder everywhere else that I apply some concealer because I may like this for like a face powder situation but I'm not too sure yet about like actually setting my under eyes okay so I'm just gonna set that part and it really looks great like it looks great if I wanted to go ahead and bake right now I would love love this like I bake all the time typically but right now we're just pressing the powder into the skin so I'm just gonna base it off of that. But when it comes to bacon, I can tell you right now, baby, this right here will be your best friend because it holds a lot of powder. So I'm gonna set my chin area and then right here. Yeah, it's like a really good setting powder. Like it melts everything to the skin when it comes to the face but the under eyes, I'm not too, too sure about that yet. But what I may do is go ahead and bake with it and kind of see what that looks like. So I went ahead and applied some face powder to the rest of my face. I've been using my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and my Makeup Forever powder just to set my face because it just gives you like that blurred look that I'm obsessed with. So. This is what the face looks like once you go ahead and just set your under eyes. Like if you don't bake, this is what it'll look like. Again, this is the puff side and then this is the sponge side. So, so far, I don't hate either side, you guys. I still think this side looks a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. So I bake all the time, you guys. So I wanna see what it looks like when I use the puff versus my sponge and kind of go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my sponge and get some powder onto it. I really don't need to blow it, you guys. We're just gonna keep all the powder on there and just bake like so, okay. And then taking the puff, I'm gonna grab some of this powder. And I love the way it's angled, you guys. It makes it so easy to work with. By this pointy part, just put it right there. You're good to go. So I'm gonna take this, bring it down. 
yeah it's very easy to work with when it comes to bacon like look at that it just it's just doing what it needs to do and now we sit and wait and then i'll brush it off and show you guys what it looks like but the puff y'all like the puff made it so easy like to just put the powder where it needs to go so that i love so it's been a couple minutes let's go ahead and brush the powder off the face i'm gonna go ahead and do this side first the one that i did with the puff and see what this looks like I feel like it's a lot easier to brush off the powder because it's just like, I don't know, it puts the powder on your skin, but it doesn't like really push it into there. So it's very easy to remove and y'all can see how flawless it looks. So now I'm going to do the other side and brush this one off. Okay. And I can already tell the difference. <laughs> Okay. All right, so right away, I feel like I can tell the big difference between the two sides. This side looks a little bit more wrinkly, not as smooth, not as flawless. I hope you guys can see it on camera, especially in this region right here. This side, on the other hand, is a lot more smooth. Looks a little bit more blurred, a little bit more flawless. It's just a huge difference and it's not like a like a major major difference where like you know if you saw me in person like you can tell right away no it's not like that it's just a little bit a little bit more smooth when you use the puff versus the sponge you know i feel like it doesn't really smooth things out when you press the powder into your skin so that's crazy um but nonetheless they both look good so what i'm gonna do is finish up the rest of my face let you guys know my final thoughts and i'll be back and we'll go from there <laughs> okay you guys so i'm back with my final thoughts on these two items right here and of course you guys know i love my sponge um when it comes to blending my foundation my concealer my under eye powder like it just does everything for me and more and i really do love it but i will say <laughs> it still does a great job at blending my liquids i love it for that i feel like it always looks pretty flawless to be honest but when it comes to my powders i may have to go ahead and switch over to the puff um it's the texture and how soft it is and how just softly it applies your powder on the face and how it makes everything look so flawless like i can't stop looking at my skin it doesn't make my under eyes look super wrinkly and all of that it just makes it look blurred and smooth and that's what i want when it comes to my under eyes and also how it applied the powder on my face as well like on my forehead my chin all of that i just did a really good job and i really do like it okay sorry i applied some powder on there so let me blend that out but i just feel like it does a great job when it comes to powder so of course i'll stick my sponge when it comes to my liquids but i will definitely go ahead and start using the puff for powder i feel like i know what the hype is now and i get it um this doesn't do a bad job i'll still use this if i don't have this on hand but moving forward i'll try to stick with this a little bit more but yeah that's my final thoughts of course let me know your thoughts down below make sure you go ahead and like subscribe before you do leave and i'll see you guys in my next one